babe these things have held me back but i am breaking free and you can break free too my name is Shisum Antino and i share experiences lessons resources tips and tricks that help you and me become the best version of ourselves okay i'm going to be sharing three things that i have realized holds me back but i am now consciously making sure that i don't let those things hold me back anymore but before we get into that, look at this look. Bring out your calculator. Let's calculate this look. <laughs> I'm really liking my makeup today. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> the first thing is having a low self-esteem, not having confidence to be myself, to do the things that I know that I want to do, not having the confidence to speak up, not having the confidence to just be me. And I really struggled with confidence in general. But I can say that I have really come a long way. Like I have gotten to a certain level of confidence that I can say is good. Although I am still growing and there's still room for me to become even more confident. But not having confidence in yourself, not having, having a low self-esteem can really ruin things for you. When you don't have confidence in yourself, you attract you attract toxic people. At least I have noticed that when you don't have confidence in yourself, when you have a low self-esteem, you tend to attract the wrong kind of people. You tend to attract the kind of people. And it's not even necessarily about attracting, but it's that you actually pick these people who are toxic. You pick these people who um, seem to have like confidence but are very toxic people and because they are more confident than you are or maybe they're not even but you tend to attract people who would just want to use you people who are users just the wrong kind of people and the problem is not even just in attracting them it's that like you're choosing them do you get because you're choosing them and then you become a people pleaser you become all these things that just do not help you become your best self and that's something i really struggled with but i thank god that i'm getting better i thank god that i'm doing better i am learning in fact i have learned from my experiences i keep on learning and the choices that i'm making now are so much better which you can actually become confident but you have to realize that it is a journey. It might take a long time. It took almost all your life to not be confident in yourself. It will not take two days for you to automatically become confident. But you have to keep trying. You have to keep reminding yourself. You have to keep putting in the work because you can definitely attain the kind of confidence that you want. Okay? The second thing that has held me back is overthinking. God. I can overthink for the world. Overthinking is such a bad thing, especially the kind of overthinking where you overthink and not take action. You're already thinking, ah, what if, what if it doesn't do good? And then you end up not doing any work at all. Like, that's so bad. And this overthinking is in the same boat with procrastination. Because by the time you overthink, you end up procrastinating and not taking any action at all, which is bad. Like, just... This is bad period like it is bad let me know what you think about that one the third thing is not being in the moment constantly living in the future do you know one day i just calm down because i will hear a lot of people say oh being the moment being the moment being the moment and one day i was like chill i don't think i've ever lived in the moment like i'm always in the future my mind is always in the future and that is so bad I'm not saying don't envision your goals i'm not saying don't you know visualize where you want to be you you can do that you should do that you should see where you want to go but constantly living there is so bad because you would never take action you're constantly living in the future you're constantly thinking about oh when i do this when i do that but every day you're entering the future and you don't see how this is like a loop you're entering the future you're constantly thinking about the future you're not in yet and even while you're entering the future like you don't see how you're wasting time not taking action if you keep doing that you will never be happy it is important for you to visualize where you want to be 
see the goals see the goals you're trying to achieve in your mind see where you're trying to be at in your mind see the life you're trying to create for yourself in your mind but remember to come back to the present and be grateful for where you're at remember to come back to the present and actually be in the moment and enjoy the moment and enjoy the journey to get into where you want to be because if you don't enjoy the journey if you don't enjoy the moment if you are not grateful for now you will still not be grateful for that future you will still not be happy when you get to your future you might not even get there because you're not taking any action you're constantly daydreaming this is something that i know has really held me back but now i'm being very conscious about these things there's so many more things that i've realized that, that were holding me back but i've just shared these three things that i know that were like you know top of the list for me leave in the comment section things that have held you back things that are currently holding you back if the things that i shared you can relate to them let me know in the comment section okay you can always create the life that you want for yourself remember that but trying to achieve everything in one day in one week will leave you overwhelmed so remember one step at a time one day at a time before you know it, it's a lifestyle see you in my next video